Hello and welcome to the survey tutorial for my name is Arjun. In previous tutorial, we learned about get and post methods. In this tutorial, uh, we will learn about the servlet life cycle and the servlet configuration. For configuring the servlet, uh, we will be using the servlet config and servlet context objects. Uh, these two objects are in Java X dot servlet package. Uh, so let's get started whenever we have a request from the browser uh, the request goes to the container the container in our case is apache tomcat server whenever a request comes to this container uh, what it does is it reads a file called a deployment descriptor the name of this file is typically web.xml uh, so the container reads some uh, configuration information from this deployment descriptor and then uh, services the request accordingly. Uh, there are a couple of methods uh, in servlet API that we discussed in the previous tutorials. So in the life cycle of a servlet, uh, three methods are used. Uh, the methods are init, service and destroy method. Whenever a request comes from browser, uh, the first thing that happens is loading. Uh, the servlet the class is uh, loaded. After loading, object of the servlet will be created. Means the third step is initialization. The fourth step is service and when the user request is service, finally the servlet will be destroyed. Uh, so these are the uh, five steps in the life cycle of a servlet. Uh, suppose the user wants to log in, uh, then the request is going to the container, the container uh, will look for the appropriate servlet in the application. Uh, as I told in the previous tutorial, uh, a web application may have many servlets. So, whenever a user logs in, a login servlet will be needed. So, what the container will do, it will uh, uh, check uh, with this deployment descriptor, this XML file, and it will look for the uh, login servlet. Uh, there are a couple of servlets here so it will look for the login servlet it will first of all load this login servlet uh, after loading it will create the object of this uh, login servlet so this uh, phase will be called instantiation after this uh, instantiation initialization will take place uh, for initialization, we have a lifecycle method called init method. Uh, init method uh, takes one argument uh, which is known as servlet config. I'll explain uh, what is this uh, servlet config. Once the servlet is initialized, a uh, service method will be called. As I told in the previous tutorial, uh, service method has a couple of handler methods uh, like uh, do get, uh, do post, do delay. Uh, so uh, this service method will call one of the handler methods to service the request. And once the request uh, is uh, serviced, the servlet will be destroyed. So for uh, servicing, we have some handler methods called uh, do get do delete etc so now for destroying uh, we have a method called destroy method uh, typically this destroy method is used for cleanup operations uh, like uh, closing the database connection or uh, closing the file stream and uh, deleting some objects. So this uh, init method takes a servlet config as an input. So what is this servlet config? Actually, uh, 
for every single servlet uh, there is one servlet config object so servlet config has the initialization parameter for a particular servlet uh, suppose uh, we have a shop servlet so this shop servlet has its own servlet config object and this object will contain the initialization information for uh, this shop servlet similarly servlet 3 suppose it is a payment servlet so it will have its own uh, servlet config object and for every single application there is one special object this object is known as servlet context object uh, this object is shared by all of the servlets of the application and uh, this servlet context object is contained inside every servlet config object it means it is accessible in entire application uh, while this servlet config objects are accessible to a particular servlet only so now we will understand uh, how do we use this servlet config and servlet context objects in our application uh, go to web content then web inf then inside here we have a file called web.xml this is deployment descriptor here we will uh, make some configuration and uh, uh, take the output on a, on a servlet so first of all we will set some parameter in this servlet context and then try to retrieve these parameters in our application uh, so for setting some parameters in servlet context we need to make some configuration in this deployment descriptor file so open up this uh, web.xml in case you have this tree view you can uh, switch to the source view Here we have uh, a tag called context param. Here we have to specify the parameter name. Let the parameter name be uh, read. And then we have param value. Um, so let us associate this param name grid with some value, say. Um, Hello. Uh, here on this servlet, what we will do is we will create an object of uh, this servlet context. So using this servlet context object, uh, we are trying to fetch the init parameter and the parameter name is green. So what we want to do and, and this method uh, will return a string. So we will have a string here, string uh, green string greet is equal to get servlet context this way we'll get the object of servlet context and using this object uh, we will try to fetch the initialization parameter uh, for grid and we will print it using the print writer Okay, so let's run the application. So let's go back to uh, the file index.html. Here, uh, let us enter the first name and password. Let me xyz. It is actually uh, 
calling this post method. So uh, let us copy paste uh, this code inside the post method as well. Okay, so uh, let's refresh this, and it is giving the output hello, hello in place of great. Uh, so this way we can access the context parameters. So this servlet context is accessible to all of the servlets of the application, and uh, there is one other object called servlet config. This object is accessible to only one servlet. So uh, let us try to configure this servlet config object. In the deployment descriptor, uh, we have to create a tag called servlet. Inside the servlet, we have to give servlet name. And the name of our servlet in this case is get post servlet. So let's copy it from here. And servlet class in this case is Agent dot guest get post servlet. Here we can specify the initialization parameters. Uh, let the parameter name be technology. And the parameter value be servlets. So uh, this way we have uh, given initialization parameter uh, to uh, this particular get post servlet. So let us write some code for this. Here we will get. servlet config will get any parent again uh, we will store it in a string We will also specify the servlet mapping. In this case, again, the servlet name, uh, which is get post servlet in URL pattern. The URL pattern should be this. That we have specified here. Actually, we don't need to write it here because we are going to configure it here. So, here uh, this line is no more needed. So, let's save everything. Let's go to the next number. And it is giving the output welcome Arjun hello servlets. So here the hello is coming from uh, this grid, and 
here the hello is coming from the context parameter and the sublet is coming from the uh, sublet config parameter. Uh, so this is how the uh, context and config parameters work. In the next tutorial, uh, we will learn about uh, servlet collaborations, means how do different servlets communicate with each other. Thanks for watching.